I come from, I, I said this the last time also I was here, I come from a very small town where there are a lot of irrational taboos that exist. Um, you know, we've spoken so much about these things and we've, you know, we've kind of come to the conclusion that there are rational and irrational taboos, right? Uh, there are some taboos which have some kind of history to them and sometimes they make sense in this crazy world, but there are some irrational ones, um, which was things like touch the pickle. Touch the pickle. Yeah, touch the pickle was one which my dadi used to give me also. So I would always feel very angry about that. Then there was, you know, there you are You can't wash like, your hair. Can't wash your you hair. You can't sleep on a bed. You, you lie on the floor. You can't go to the temple. Um, there are so many things that you can't come into the kitchen. There were just so many which I would constantly feel that I have not done anything wrong. Don't stop me from doing this. Um, but yeah, so I think the important thing is to kind of eradicate those irrational taboos. We live now at least in an educated country in, you know, an almost developed country, I would say. Uh, we've come so far ahead, but in these things, we're really lagging behind. So I feel that, you know, days like these when you and I come together and, you know, whisper, we all want to talk about how we feel um, in all other departments, but we refuse to talk about this. We refuse to come out of our shells and remove these taboos and I think it's high time that we do so. And it's amazing that Whisper India has come out with, you know, platforms like this where women can come on stage and freely talk about yeah. issues like this before. I mean, I don't know if you saw that, that film uh, that just yes. played out. Yeah. yeah, A girl goes to buy uh, sanitary pads and it's not only just, it's not only wrapped in newspaper, but it's also put in a black polythene bag and a bomb squad comes thinking, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's unnecessary, whereas anywhere else in the world you go to buy, um, Sanitary pads, you just, you know, it gets scanned along yeah, with Yeah, it's like it. buying a painkiller, it really means nothing. And yeah. it shouldn't, I mean, what, what does it mean? Why is it put into a special department? I don't know why. Yeah. Well, those five days, um, basically, her uh, girl's life, every month, they uh, come five days, in which they have a period of time. So, I want that people, uh, the girls, लड़कियां एंड एवरीबॉडी अराउंड हर बेसिकली उसके बारे में अवेयरनेस बढ़ाएं उसके बारे में बात करें जो भी उससे जुड़े टैबूज हैं उनको निकालें और उस पीरियड के बारे में बात करने से डरें ना नहीं आई थिंक डेफिनेटली बहुत चेंज आया है मैं खुद अपनी जिंदगी में जब कंपेयर करती हूं तो 10 साल पहले तक पीरियड किसिंग सेक्स इन इन सब चीजों के बारे में कभी बात नहीं होती थी लेकिन आज के दिन हम लोग मतलब हम लोग पब्लिक अपीयरेंसेस कर रहे हैं लोग इवन छोटे-छोटे शहरों में गांवों में बहुत सारी जगहें बहुत सारी संस्थाएं जो इन चीजों के बारे में बात कर रही हैं लोगों को एजुकेट कर रही हैं तो आई थिंक हम लोग काफी आगे आ गए हैं बट वी स्टिल हैव अ लॉन्ग वे टू गो